Hey guys, Clumsy here. How's that look? A bit dark today. Raining. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. How is everybody doing? Can you guys hear me okay? Thanks for joining. How is everyone? See a lot of early birds. No worries. Let me go through the list. Who do we have? First on chat, Tom the early bird. How are you? Thanks for the host. Thanks for the raid as well, Raggy. No problem. No need to cheer or sub or anything. Your presence is enough. Hey, Gamaste. How are you, man? How are you enjoying on air? Thunder. You've joined the VA already, right? Jay, glad you made it. How's it been going, man? Hope things are looking better. <laughs> How are you, Fang? Thank you for the amazing work on the livery, as you can see right in front of you. Just trying to monitor my temperatures here. Because the CPU just spiked a little, weirdly enough. Huh. How is the stream quality, by the way, guys? The image quality is okay. We are at 30 FPS today. So 1080 but 30 FPS. I'll explain more as we go. So what do you have else on chat? Did I miss anyone else? I think we are good. Hey blah, how are you man? Have you tried 139 yet? NVIDIA profile inspector hype. Hey Patrick! Were you in Jack stream? Sorry, could have drop by. How are they doing? Hey Mark. Mark of the Martians, thanks for joining. Transcode, we do have transcode? Oh, nice. Fancy, maybe the 1080 trick did it. <laughs> nice. All right. Where are we going? We are doing on-air jobs. So you might notice the screen looks a bit different. There's like a, a gap in the middle. Not sure if anyone noticed in between the webcam and the chat. Wonder what that could be for. <laughs> Any guesses? <laughs> Yar Jack! How are you man? Have you been screaming again? I saw you it notified on my screen. You're streaming the horror game again. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. Good to hear Jay hanging there, man. We're here for you if you need anything. Haven't tried 139. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I have a few reservations as well, but I think Crash Bomb Sounds got updated, so that's good. You screened. <laughs> Maybe a VATSIM map. Okay, let me... Give a bit of a hint. How about that? A frame. <laughs> Alright, let me let me remove the, the suspense. <clears throat> ah, there we go. There we go. We are actually on triple monitors now, guys. An additional webcam. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> is it synchronized? I think so. So this is actually using my dad's old iPhone. This is an iPhone 7, so I bought the Epoch Cam app. This has been bought by Elgato. So it synchronizes wirelessly, it's pretty fancy. So basically the phone is connected to the outlet so it doesn't run out of battery, but it connects to the PC wirelessly. And the latency is pretty good, right? Almost the same. So you can see the triple monitor screens thing. Um, and yes, the triple monitors, there will be a detailed video later. This will be part three of the road to the ASUS RTX 3080 Tough. So we'll check that out. We also have a fancy new view. That one, I'm not sure which one you guys prefer, but we can go either way. So we can switch back and forth and just trying out things. <laughs> so as always, recommendations, 
suggestions are more than welcome. Oh, I noticed that the chat, I'm kind of drowning in chat. <laughs> Save me! <laughs> Maybe let's go back to that in the meantime. What a green desk. <laughs> Was that sarcasm I detect? Triple monitor without track IR, exactly. With the triple monitor setup, we don't need track IR anymore. Awesome view of the screens, thank you. Way cleaner than my squirrel watch out. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so yes, uh, for those who've seen the video, so I really released the video as early access, so where I go into more detail on the monitors, on the setup, and how it works with the with Flight Simulator with Eurotruck, what these monitors are exactly, how many pixels and whatnot. So that video will come out later, but patrons and subs already got access to it via Discord and Patreon. So for those who watched it, hope you enjoyed. That took a lot of time. I'd like to share more uh, details as we go, share more uh, insights. But in the meantime, let's go and have some fun. Granted, I have not flown a lot because I've been setting up the system, the, the cameras and everything. Uh, oh my goodness, I feel like a full-blown content creator now, editing and whatnot. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I spent the entire day yesterday just editing and filming filming yes filming my goodness and then synchronizing the different camera angles and the audio oh my goodness it's a great experience but very exhausting <clears throat> external view would be awesome for landings and takeoffs Ooh, that is an interesting point of view yeah let's try it later hope i don't forget Okay, so let's load it up. I do have on air loaded. I hope it doesn't kick me out yet. So on air should be over here. 6389 or Delta. We are going back to the TDM 930. We're not going to go online on VATSIM at the moment because I have plenty of things to get used to for now. The peripheral vision, the camera angles, the performance, lots of tuning, and also the latest patch of Flight Sim. I'm, I haven't quite gotten the sensitivity yet. During my flare, during my landings, it seems to always flare too much. I think I have to tweak the sensitivity settings or just have to get used to it. So practice, practice, practice. Right. So what I can do is store this somewhere. Let's see. Um, we have five passengers and we'll be taking some cargo with us now that job in particular we can get an idea of what cargo that is but for the sake of weights um weight balance uh, we have five people and then 207 pack uh, cargo so let's set that up if i can reach my keyboard let me push it inside a bit there you go also, if anything malfunctions in the cameras, let me know, guys. So I'm not constantly monitoring it. And then 207, was it? Um, 207, which is 103, 104. Okay. So this is 103. And this is 104. Okay, good. The center of gravity seems correct position the mic that way <clears throat> election day today Ooh, stay safe guys take care and uh, go vote all right so let's go with that let's go to Asheville I'll program the flight stuff later on 306 at one knot so basically calm winds so let's stay in our favorite parking spot here and load up the stuff in terms of graphics settings i turned down the settings a bit from the video um, for those who watched the video i was in ultra all throughout performance was not the best it was manageable and it had amazing image quality but I think a good, a better balance would be to turn down the settings a bit just to get better FPS overall. And I mean, from that view, you won't be able to see all the details anyway, right? Won't be close up. 
<clears throat> Not enough lighting. I kind of like the dark theme because I tried turning on the lights a while ago. It looked cluttered. It like it would it look would deviate the attention from the screens and more into the wires. <laughs> so it's a feature, not a bug. But thanks for the suggestion. As always. <clears throat> we currently expect stock to arrive on Friday 6 November. Your current queue position is 54. <gasps> is that the 3070? Are you queued up for a 3070? Nice. Now how can I click that thing? Because it's underneath. There you go. Alright. How does it look in the cameras? Good. So let me know what you prefer, okay? If you like seeing the screen or the camera more. So we can focus on it like that one maybe that working there we go nvidia geforce rtx 3078 gig gaming oc wow that's good that you're in a queue that's great so you don't have to like line up and uh, do unnecessary stuff like fre pressing refresh non-stop now before we Proceed here. I wanted to check something. View 8, view 7, 6, 5. I think view 5 is what I want. Okay. Good, good. So let me just map something here. Are we buffering? Hang tight. This is like a test stream, as close as we can get. <laughs> okay, so let's put this one. Mm, instead of fixed camera, let me put this as, what did we say? View 5, right? Instrument. Instrument view 5, that one. Previous instrument view, clear that assignment. There you go. Because I won't have track IR, so I want all the camera controls to be easy re to reach like that. All right, anyway, let's start on air so it gets daytime here. So on air is there. Confirm that and we'll start it up. No buffer on your end. Okay, good. Should use the old 1070 and build a dedicated stream recording PC. It never stops, right? Yeah, just keep adding on and adding on and adding on and adding on and adding on. Yeah. True. What happened? Uh, go and fly now. Did I press the wrong thing? You can see the tequila. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So first we are going to, oh my goodness, I'll have to load little nav map here. Little nav map, uh, Kilo, Kilo Golf Romeo Delta. Okay, flight tracking. There we go. And start tracking. It should become daytime. There we go. Perfect. Now we can see the guy. Alright, that's tracking. Let's go and enjoy. <clears throat> Exterior view. How's the FPS doing? There it is. 34. Uh, this might work better if I show you that one. So you see the actual FPS count. And in terms of graphics, we have mostly, so I started with high-end preset and then I just made ultra the clouds and the 
windshield effects because I do like those windshield effects, you know, the PFD reflecting off the window. I think that's what I like. And then refresh rate for glass cockpit is still high. Motion blur is off. Lens correction is on for, I think, triple monitors. We'll see how it looks. But 33 FPS, more than enough for this kind of setup. Okay. I am tempted to increase the terrain level of detail, but we'll fiddle with that as we go along. Let's just try and fly first and see what we how it feels. Okay. Good. Phone for 10 minutes. We are in Asheville, home base. <clears throat> we try to stay here as much as possible. All right, let's start up the plane. Taws system test. Okay. Strobes are on. And we also need to turn on the panel. There you go. Oh yes, uh, the G3000 mod. The G3000 mod is now in the new version, 0 0.3.0. You can see the touchscreen panels have been modified now. Super cool. This has part of the latest update. Very nice. Let's set up the flight plan here. Uh, let me try and remember. So we have three legs in this job. Short legs. But it will give me a good practice Greenwood there we go Kilo Golf Romeo Delta if I remember correctly there you go okay ooh 31 months Jack thank you That's, did that happen last week? <laughs> appreciate that man GG so how high should we fly? Let's maybe just hand fly this at around, um, I don't know, 7,500. Let, let's consult with little nav map. So little nav map, if we just say that we want to go there, Kilogolf Romeo Delta, what should be the flight plan? The lowest we can go is 4.5. That's the safe altitude that it sees. So we can go 5.5. Five. Let's just go VFR. Yes. Let's enjoy the view, guys, and see what we like. <clears throat> okay. Looks good. That's a good primer. All right. Try and remember here. Ox boost pump. Check the instruments. Looking good. Man, that, that is kind of dizzying, huh? The camera scrolls very fast. Maybe I'll have to tweak that so it wouldn't be too abrupt changes in the view. I mean, I can still use the camera like this, so no problem. Why do I have to sell twice every time? Your flight will be monitored <laughs> until you land and shut know, down right? the engines. Only for experts. <clears throat> hey super glad you were able to join man and thanks for the message over at patreon looking good all right nav lights yeah i can easily use the camera and turn on the inertial separator and leads should be good right there. I'm looking for the reflections on the windshield. Can't quite see them yet. Maybe later on. Or do I have to set the the altitude to or the the graphic settings to ultra as well? Actually, not so sure. Five thousand five hundred. Thanks, man. It's great to hear. Glad to have you here. Yeah, I might sell the 1070 eventually. Use it as backup in the meantime, but eventually. 
maybe convert that into something else because if you would need to make it into a PC it actually that actually be more costs let's go to the other camera that might be a bit more interesting as we taxi here and you see the wide field of view does that look okay okay I think you can see it from my view it's very low frame rate like skipping a lot but I think that's only in my browser view so hopefully on your end guys nothing is bad I absolutely love the way when you have this kind of view you actually see on the left and right sides like oh it's there you don't have to use the mouse or use track IR to, to turn you just turn your head and it's so natural I love it I actually forgot to turn on taxi lights one second there you go oops thanks super enjoy your work good luck why is there a car blocking our way you see the stutter is it stuttering that bad because in my OBS it doesn't say I'm dropping any frames so hopefully it's not as bad as in my browser let's just ignore this guy Hey giraffe, can't wait until tomorrow. Logitech rudder pedals? Oh nice, oh yes definitely. When I got my rudder pedals, these are the Tr Thrustmaster flight rudder pedals. So these are like the one of the cheapest ones. It's not the most accurate but definitely adds a whole level of immersion when you have your own rudder pedals and you can taxi using them. Feels so much better. All right, thanks Jack it's great to hear FPS hit oh my goodness yeah a lot I think I lost like basically all the FPS I gained when I upgraded from a 1070 to 3080 all those disappeared because you're rendering trip so roughly speaking from a 1070 to 3080 you get roughly three three times better performance very roughly speaking but since you're rendering three times the amount, you're basically at that same frame rate, if that makes sense. So in terms of frame rate, it didn't really improve. But my goodness, you get two additional screens. Two additional full 1440 screens. <laughs> I would say that's a very worthy trade-off. Let's uh, get our heading correctly in here. 347, I think. And sorry guys, I, I know I'm a bit lagging in chat. Um, just trying to balance the the stuff <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense one second uh. still getting used to the new layout I also had to turn on air conditioning by the way because it's so hot in here right now the graphics card is really putting out a lot of heat and in Singapore a tropical country enclosed room <laughs> no uh, ventilation from outside it can get really steamy in here and not in a good way <laughs> do you hook up each one of your three monitors as a single monitor uh so this alone they are separate yeah so they have their own power connections they have their own display ports they all connect to the pc so your pc your video card most probably the normal the usual ones have three or four connectors in them so you connect each monitor there numbers don't matter <laughs> well unfortunately in the interwebs that message is very hard to convey hey London wow yeah glad you made it I can assume that you are from London might know Jack <laughs> as if there's so little people in there so few people just noticed my bezels are not correctly set up I'll have to tweak that later on on the left it's good but on the right it's a bit low might have to raise my monitor or something okay so let us uh, turn on the heat 
landing lights flaps you can actually see guys the approach lights on the left it's so cool oi <laughs> from london living in prague ah i see so it's a bit later there huh one hour later Yeah, one slot each for each monitor. So the winds are pretty calm. It does look like it's coming from the left a bit. But no, it's pretty calm there. So I'll just go away, do a straight on, no aileron deflection or anything. Alright, let's push it. center line oh, don't go beyond the red line heavy plane today that's okay at least it won't be so fidgety airspeed's alive keep it here keep it here oh my goodness yeah acceleration is super slow there we go 90 knots rotate boss the brake tap the brakes gear up Beautiful. You can see the shadow from the left side, guys. Can you see the shadow of the plane? Oh, that's so cool. So are you guys okay with this camera? Let me know when you want to switch to the the gameplay, right? The stream footage or the gameplay. How do you call that? <laughs> you know what I mean. There you go pulling out an Alexa right there from Jack flaps going up your damper going on and let's hand fly this bad boy you're fine with it okay let's keep it for now unless someone has any violent reactions no clouds today but a bit of a shame our shell separator can go off ah that is beautiful good morning good morning Asheville you just asked Siri <laughs> that works have to lower the thrust a bit as when we turned off the inertial separator the torque will climb started the pole oh that's good good idea oh this is actually very smooth what fps are we getting 34 36 oh not bad and yeah i could actually get more view from here but I decided to keep the chat window here on the right side so I don't have to have like a separate monitor or a separate laptop to monitor the, the chat and everything but um, we'll see if we can if we'll modify that later on because I can easily put this chat actually that's a good idea I can easily put the chat on the left you see that part of the actually going beyond 5.5 five, my bad um, you see that part of the monitor that you don't see like it gets cut off on the left side right i actually have a bit of monitor space there so i can put the chat windows there so that you get full view even on this side of the gameplay but actually yeah we can try that now interesting hmm. i might try it out later but for now let's fly and enjoy You've been on every line on the, of the underground at some point. You can imagine it's massive. So I think we can actually afford to increase some of the fidelity of the graphics because we are getting a lot of good performance here. So let's tune that in. Terrain vector data. 
buildings, trees, grass, bushes. Let's go ultra for all of those. Texture resolution, they say you have to restart the sim. For that to work, I might need to up that. But the others, I think I'll keep it there. Reflections though, I do want ultra as well as light shafts. Alright, let's see how that works. Yeah, we are getting lower frame rates now. Around 3 to 5 lower. That shouldn't be significant. Should be okay. Let's keep it. Right. Enjoy the view. All ended external view. Sorry, wh what are the options? <laughs> what does external view mean? This one? Or <laughs> the other one? Don't, I'm not even familiar with the definitions. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're enjoying the chill time. More than welcome. Right, we can speed it up here. So that we fly faster. We just have to trim down. So we don't climb back up. This one, okay, good, thank you. Right, thanks for the vote, guys. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Normally, people don't uh, voice out the, the opinion so much via comments, but voting is uh, oftentimes a better way of getting feedback. Ooh, it's actually a thing here. Don't like that, though, this in inset map. I always remove that because that's only additional load on the CPU, additional computation that you don't really need anyway. I mean, I can see the MFD quite clearly. Thank goodness I angled the camera that way because um, I'm barefoot right now. <laughs> I'm always barefoot actually when I'm flying. <clears throat> TMI. So how is everyone doing? What have you guys been up to? Have you tried out 139 yet? I finished recording yesterday and I didn't get any... Well, I was still in 138 basically when I was recording. So I haven't tried 139 yet. Ooh, also I noticed I have 63% of my RAM being used up. I see an airport up ahead, blinking lights. Would be interesting to see how the landing would go, right? Ideally, it should be better, like doing a... Doing a... What do you call it? Joining the pattern should be easier. Because we should see from our peripheral. But we'll see how it goes. Hey, thanks a bit. White shirt. Glad you can catch the stream indeed. Is it late there? I can imagine. Oftentimes, the timing is not friendly for many people. Can't stop looking at the wires and fidget. <laughs> That's exactly why the lights are turned off. So the OCD tendencies don't get triggered as much. If I turn the lights on, everyone will look at the wires instead of the screen. <laughs> the Trap and Trace app. Goodness. Stay safe, man. Also, you also have that. Where are you from again, Raggy? Oh, beautiful lighting there. You guys see those reflections on the sun? Oh, wow. Let's hand fly this thing for a bit. So, we go to heading mode here. Turn on the flight director. Altitude hold. And let's go autopilot. 5,600 should be enough. So we can go to external view. Mind the ears, guys, okay? It's going to be a bit noisy. Oh my goodness. Ah. Speechless. Literally speechless. 
And we don't even have clouds yet at this point. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Never showing your table. Yeah, I had to really clean my table a lot. Because I was as I was recording part three yesterday and I set up the camera, I was like, oh my goodness, this is a mess. So I cleaned up a little, so this is already cleaned up version guys. This is already cleaned up. Beautiful. Let's zoom out a bit here. Oh no problem there. And let's check with little nav map how we're doing. Little nav map, top of descent, very far away, no problem there. So we can keep this as is in chill about. Hmm. What a good looking play, no, thanks to the that beautiful livery, right? I wonder who made that. Let's go to nav mode here. So apparently that thing that we're looking at in front of us, that might not be the airport we're going to yet. So there are actually two airports in the middle of where we're going. That one, the, the one with the blinking uh, white lights is uh, Kilo Golf Yankee Hotel. Which one is that? Let's check for a bit. Uh, Kilo Golf Yankee Hotel is this guy right here. Donaldson Field. And on the left, you should see Greenville. Oh, that we've flown over from there a couple of times in the past. Let's have a look. Can you see it from here? Should be on the left, I think. Maybe it's that one. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's this one. Yeah, maybe that's the blinking one. Looks like it. So we can zoom in there, get a better view of things. A full-blown cockpit. <laughs> Might not get the approval from Mrs. Clumsy that way. She approved this one because my old monitor, oh you can't see it, or you can, can you see it from the webcam, the lower left webcam. I'm so confused now where I am. That monitor is my old one, so she got an upgrade as well. She now has a 27-inch monitor. She loves the view. Hey, Alex, glad you made it, man. Thanks for joining. Sorry, I haven't been able to drop by recently in the streams and hang out. But I think now with the, the road to the RTX 3080 mini series almost over, or I could say over for now, then we can, I can hang out again and chill a bit, a bit more pacing. <laughs> What's all this monetization going on? <clears throat> Did you join Jack in his ghost hunting? Riga, if we're the trio there, Alex, Blind, Jack, I do see a bit of um, glitch there on the left. Actually, I don't need to use my mouse, huh? I can just point to it and you guys will see. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, get well soon, man. Get well soon. Maybe a little bit shot of tequila will do you good. <laughs> <laughs> so let me try something maybe I can optimize this a bit uh, might not be a good time to do it though I would like to move this window like the stream chat if I move it to the left like this do you see it? I think you see this part already yeah you see it actually you see even that one huh? huh. so either way it would be blocking something view, uh, a view 
I think I moved the camera a bit. Was it moving a bit on its own? That's scary. <laughs> Let me move it back. I'll fiddle with it next time. For now, let's stick with that. <clears throat> light mode chat, yes. I would have preferred dark mode, but the additional light that the white window brings is a bit useful to the camera. So have to do a trade-off. Try to convince yourself that you're feeling better. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Clumsy was kind of feeling empty for this space. Although it doesn't mean that she approves, but yeah, would be nice. Sure thing, Jay. Interesting, actually. Oh, you don't even see me anymore, huh? Yeah, that's wrong. about that? Earthquake. Did I actually nudge it a while ago? Maybe? Maybe that's why? There you go. That should be how it looks. Six monitor setup. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please no. Top of descent? Not quite yet. What is the airport elevation in here? Let's have a look at that airport Greenwood. So currently Greenwood has winds coming from the southwest. So runway 23 looks to be a perfect uh, runway for us. We'll have to do a bit of taxiing but runway 23 is 230 degrees on the magnetic heading. And in terms of elevation, it's... Uh, only 3,800 feet though, but we, we can do that, I think we can do that. Um, let me see, compute this one. So we can fly over the airport, have a look at how the weather is inside the sim, and then do the approach depending on, join the pattern depending on which runway would be best. Okay, we can work with that. Top of descent is 10 point two miles away 624 feet so pattern altitude should probably be 16 17 so let's go 27 let's go 3000 for now once we descend Seem in the other camera bottom left. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Ah, one second. Okay, maybe I can try it now. <laughs> Continue fiddling with it. Actually, I just realized I, I have dev cam enabled. Oh, dev mode. I don't like that. Because it adds a little bit of a, a bar on the top, which is not ideal. There you go. At least we have a little bit of even more resolution in here. Even better space. Try something here. So that you won't have, so you'll have complete visibility on that thing there. There you go. That should give you a slightly better view, I think. work I think that's okay all right good it will also be easier for me because the mic is in this way so turning that, that way just to see the chat is a bit hard this way is more organic all right let's try it out trial and error people trial and error 
<clears throat> right, we are close enough. I guess it's time to descend. Let's hand fly this thing. Just to enjoy it a bit. Turn off the autopilot. Turn off the flight director. Pulling back on the throttle here. Trying to spot where the airport is. It should be right in front of us, but I don't actually see it. There you go. Oh, did anyone manage to watch the Colorado stream? Wasn't SES planning a, a stream yesterday, was it? 3,000 feet here. I think they were planning to stream Colorado. They must be preparing for a release, an imminent release. I have not gotten anything from SES though. So either I'm blacklisted <laughs> or uh, yeah, maybe it's not yet there. Hopefully soon though. I saw the trailer on 139. The trailer where they showed the. One sec, huh? There you go. <gasps> oh, that's bad. One second. Oh, crap. Okay, let's have it that way. Thousand to go. Reminds you of Washington, home state. When they use the flaps, hey Bryce, you use the flaps to slow down, and uh, when you're landing mostly or when taking off, it's a bit of complicated um, concepts in there. But uh, in general, depending on the plane. You use them when almost always you use them when landing and for some planes you use them when taking off because it allows you to go slower and it lowers your stall speed so you can continue flying at lower speeds and you want to slow down when you're landing so that you don't eat up so much runway there's the airport I see it so I'm going to put the heading bug on 230 just so I have a visual on where the runway is facing later on. We'll do a couple of... We'll do some landings. And if we get bad at it... I, I, because I, I've tried a few landings. I don't blame this new setup. I blame the new patch. They changed the sensitivity settings. The sensitivity curves. And I have not gotten used to it yet. Some people are reporting it's better. But not sure if I agree there. Inertial separator landing light should still be on if I remember correctly. Yes, good. Trim, trim, trim. And uh, give it some power. Maintain 3000 here until we are over the airport itself. Beautiful guys, beautiful. Oh my goodness. Actually that's the main runway. Mm, it's okay, we'll find it out later. Our shell separator is on. Flight simming as well, where are you flying at the moment? Enjoy. Trying to find where that airport is. We should be right on top of it now. Almost. Three thousand again. So the winds are favoring runway two three. That's good. To be honest though, I still don't see the runway. But we'll position ourselves 
go downwind. So let me go down to 1,700 1, feet. Let's go on the opposite end here. Man, that is beautiful. Perfect weather here <clears throat> in North Carolina at the moment. A couple of weeks back, it was so bad. We do have some like low clouds over there though, seemingly. Doing FS economy. Nice. Good luck. Stay safe. Alright, we should be on downwind right now. To be honest, I can't see the airport. I might need that extra left view more than the right. That's the runway, which is not exactly the way I'm facing it. Hmm, tricky. Okay, let's uh, get some flaps in here. Yeah, see how sensitive it could be? Let's lower the landing ears as well. Have a good night, Jack. I'm sure you got tired from all that ghost hunting. <laughs> Thanks for making it to the stream. 747 is in this game, that's true. Hey, Rosh. Although it is not very well implemented yet from what I've heard. So I am staying away from airliners at the moment. The view used to use it for a bit. Sure. Okay. Connection lost. Interesting. We're still online, guys. That's interesting. First time I got that error. I think we lost connection to the flight sim server. But we are still here. Okay, in Twitch. Interesting. So which one do you guys like better? Which view for landing? Successfully connected. Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. I'm giving myself a lot of room for maneuvering. Turning base. Is that the airport on the left? Might not be. 1-7, keep that altitude. I don't see the airport, guys. It's so hard to spot because I think it's a small airport. It doesn't have many lights. Get that every now and then. Hey, Ogdenus. How are you, man? Hey, Wild Dog. Great to hear, man. Yes, I'm really enjoying it. Now, if I can see... A runway that would be great. Need to have to eyeball it here, zoom in here a bit. I see something there that might be it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Shiny lights and everything. Triple monitor view. Um, unfortunately not. Yeah, it's too much. It's not supported by NVENC, that big area resolution, 7680 by 1440. And it wouldn't fit the normal screens at all. So where are we? We're lost. Where that's where we are. I see a runway right there, but that runway doesn't align with the runway I'm planning to land on. I think it's this one. No. I ah, hear. It's a very small one. My goodness. That's the runway. Looks like a... Yeah, that looks scary actually. Fine. Okay. 
gears are down, inertial separator is on, flaps are full, and your damper is off. Off. There you go. Alright, let's line up here properly. There should be an Amazon gear panel thingy if you're interested in seeing the specs, although I don't think I've updated the graphics card there yet. Updated TBM mod, yes. So we have the the panel in here now. Let's go and switch back to the cam for landing. I think that will be a bit more helpful. GPU is the Asus RTX 3080 Tough Gaming OC. There it is. We are pretty high though. So we can do a bit of forward slip here. Make the descent faster. 500. Without accelerating too much. Steady. There you go. Winds are actually not that good. Don't, don't sink, don't sink. There you go. But actually the winds are not that strong, so it's okay. Runway 23 indeed. Okay, this is the one. Perfect. This is a very narrow runway though, isn't it? Hey, look at that, how much that flares. That's what I noticed with the... Landing time logged. That's what I noticed with the sensitivity. Like, normally it would be okay, but on the last moment with the flare, the yoke would suddenly pitch like that, which probably means the yoke is... Like, it reaches that point when the sensitivity goes all the way up because it has, like, a, an exponential curve. And uh, I haven't quite gotten it yet, but... I don't think on air will penalize me for that, so we'll see. Hey Andromeda, thanks for joining. Let me just turn off the taxiway here, guys. Really feels like we're in a cockpit with that view. <laughs> Great to hear, thanks. But uh, <laughs> wouldn't call it that, but thank you. Maybe from that view, it doesn't look that bad, huh? <laughs> I have a an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X and 32 gig of RAM. We're in the runway now. We're still in the runway. How do you get to the taxiway? One second, guys, huh? Just consult the little nav map here. I actually turned a bit too early. Yeah, I turned too early. So we're actually on run we're on way um, nine. Nine to seven. But we can turn off on the next taxiway. And that should lead us to the ramp. Yeah, that one. Cool. And yeah, you can actually see it on the right. Isn't that cool? Now, that being said, there are a lot of triple monitor enthusiasts who are not happy with Flight Simulator at the moment, Microsoft Flight Simulator, because it doesn't have the full, proper, triple, or multi-monitor setup yet. Like, you can't apply offsets and stuff. So what ends up happening is you end up um, distorting the camera on the sides. So you see the right side is like moving much quicker than the center ones. So I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not really an expert with multi-monitors, but I do see it. The workaround is to zoom in a bit because in normal view like that, you really get that wide view on the sides. But when you zoom in a bit, it kind of limits your field of view. That's true, but it, it gets rid of the distortion as well. So that's a good thing. Hey, T-Bird! Oh my goodness, here he goes again. You are actually funding my equipment. <laughs> Thanks for all the support, man. GG. Oh. How much is that? My goodness. Extra zeros in there. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate that, man. Let's just go and park here. 
Glad you made it to the stream. Thanks for dropping by. Brain perception. FOV plays a role. If you have low FOV, it's gonna feel slower. So I think normally when you have a multiple monitor setup, you have to lower the FOV, right? Otherwise it will get that weird thing there. Okay, I should have turned off the heaters as soon as we landed. Uh, nav strobes can go off. What else can go off? Ox boost pump. Mm, fuel selector. Autopilot. Oxygen. And uh, from there, we can turn off. No, 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 no. The engine. Does anyone else get this problem with the TBM with the recent patch? Look at this. Oh, it doesn't happen anymore. Engine off time logged. End of flight. Registered in on air company. Yeah, that one. You see? It automatically moves to low idle. I don't know why. I don't get it. No way to change FOV. At the moment, I am assuming you can zoom in because it seems to change FOV a bit. In, instead of just moving forward so I think it changes FOV but I'm no expert so you let me know goodness ran over your S7 maybe it's a blessing in disguise so you get the new phone those seats are shiny <laughs> indeed Hey, me pilot. Thanks for joining the stream, man. Hey, Err. Is your right hand controlling your speed? Yes, I. so my yoke is the CH Eclipse. There are throttle controls here on the right side, on the right side of the yoke, integrated into the yoke, so very beginner-friendly. One yoke has everything. It even has, like, fake rudder pedals right here. I'm not sure if the camera can capture that. But yeah, this is a very good um, starter yoke. It's not the best. But, uh, it's good. Hey, passion. <laughs> I didn't know that was you. <laughs> Glad you could join. Allows you to see more of the yoke movement. Thanks, man. That's great to hear. So this camera doesn't only give you the triple monitor feel, but also the yoke controls. Cool. Yeah, let me so show a bit of the sensitivity settings here. And let me switch back to the screen here so I can share more. What I don't understand is this one. It really looks super wrong to me. I don't really get it. Um, one second, did it change? Why does it seem like uh, my stream did not refresh? I think I'm f super behind. Yeah, the, the, the sensitivity settings are so weird. Definitely agree. I don't get it at all. I was previously at 70%, I think. But if you look here, if you're at 70%, it's kind of weird. It, it actually, so you start in the middle, right? And this one. So that means it lowers. So it goes to that lower left, which is normal. But you see it dips down and then goes back up again. That basically means as you're moving your your yoke to the left as you're banking to the left at this point you'll bank a bit to the right which doesn't make sense at all and then it will have that sharp bank left there so i i don't know so it, it starts to get up to that curve after a point so i think 50 percent is the safest or maybe 60 but 50 percent looks feels so weird to me so I think I will try 60. Maybe that will be better. I don't know. Just, I don't like it at all. Some people over at the forums like it very much, but I am not part of that group. Uh, how can I even set 60 here? There you go. Okay, I guess that can work. Minimal bumping up. One sec guys, I'll get back to chat in a bit and just Trying to get the right exact numbers here. 
full concentration mode. This is even harder than landing. Let's get back to the cam there. Yeah, the sim rate. I figured that out a couple of weeks back, but initially, yeah. Uh, when I first figured it out, it was very useful, especially for the longer flights. Yes, Watch Duke City will do this on Friday. We'll stream with this kind of setup. And yes, as Jay mentioned, a video will be coming out later. Probably after the stream, I will release it. We'll see. A couple of hours, but definitely this day, I will release the video. It is so cool. <laughs> now, ETS2 has proper multi monitor setup. So it really feels great driving. You can look left and right using the monitors. You bought the TBN, blew up the engine in your first attempt to start it. <laughs> Isn't it so realistic? I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Hot starts TBM 900 is the best. As soon as you hit that cliff, your flare turns into a takeoff. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, that's what's happening to all my landing. So hopefully with 60%, I don't hit that cliff. So let's look at on air here. 45%, pretty good. So now we can proceed to the next leg, which is... Um, so let's fly with that thing again, prepare the next flight. Oh, I guess you can't see my screen, huh? Do you want to see my screen? I guess that would make sense. I should remember that. Uh, one second, guys. So let me just refresh my view here. One second, I'll get back to you in a bit. Stream preview. Come on. All right. All right, there you go. We are back. Okay, so... Um, next up is... Kilo Juliet Charlie Alpha. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay. So we can lower down all the way to 2,500 feet, actually. Yes, yeah, take the 2,500, do a lot of sightseeing along the way. That sounds great. Um, do I look for more jobs? Well, I guess yes, we could because we off apparently offloaded four of the people. So we are pretty light now. So we have like, what? 900, 800? Ah, that's okay. Let's not fiddle around with it so much. Let's just enjoy flying. Isn't that mic annoying there? Yeah, if I had a choice, I would pick another one. But uh, if I move it out, you won't hear me anymore. Like this. So it really has to be sitting right next to me. But this gives it the ASMR feel, so uh, I've grown to live with it. Which to update dashboard for payout? Actually, I'm not sure. I don't monitor it so much. So we're going to Kilo Juliet uh, Charlie Alpha. Yes, good. Okay, throw the lights are on. Let's go and plan this out. So the origin would be Kilo Golf Romeo Delta. And we would go to, of course I forgot guys where it is going. <laughs> Kilo Juliet, Charlie Alpha, Jackson. 
There you go. How far is that? 70 miles, no problem. We'll uh, fly at 2,500 feet and we'll see actually um, how are we doing on the performance. 31 FPS, can we afford more? Let me just try guys, okay? Let me just try to increase because someone recommended to me increasing the terrain level of detail. They say it really helps the, with the visuals. So from 31 FPS, where are we at now? Let's see. We're down to 25, 27. Yeah, it, it's quite significant drop, isn't it? Let's give it a few more seconds. Isn't there space on the left? Um, of my table? You mean this mic? Like that? Wouldn't it be the same? Not sure I get it. So we've dropped like 2-3 frames. Hmm, is it worth it? It feels more stuttery. Maybe we can lower it down, compromised at 150. I think for VFR, this this um, um, slider is very helpful because in VFR, you really are just exploring the outside. So let's see how that works. Very low frame rate right now. Things are loading in. That should stabilize after a few seconds, hopefully. Never got past 30, even in low. Yeah, something might be bottlenecking you. Interestingly enough, we get much lower frame rate when I set that to 150. For real? That must still be downloading though. Let's give it some time. Hmm. Thank you for following. Welcome to the channel. Sorry guys if I missed some messages. So feel free to repost them if I missed some of them out. I think we're good. 25, yeah, okay, weird. All right, there we go, now 29, okay, we're back. Things have finished downloading. Okay, so we're 30 FPS, 150 terrain load, LOD. That's a good compromise so we get better views from outside. Let's go and fly. <clears throat> and fly this thing the rest of the way. Okay, so start up the plane first. Normally, you would need to dry motor the engine because in, in like in hot starts TBM 900, the ITT would not go to negative seven or to zero immediately after you turn off the engine. It would actually be remaining at like 200, 300, something like that for a couple of minutes. And then what you have to do is to dry motor the engine. So basically that's starting the ignition, turning on the starter, but not introducing fuel. So you're remaining at cutoff here. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut and down the engine. And that would basically turn the propeller and cool the engine off. After the ITT is around 150 degrees Celsius or lower, then you can introduce fuel. But yeah, that level of detail we don't have yet in the sim, but that's just one of the things I miss with that Star TBM 900. I really love that plane. <clears throat> oh, looking good. FPS has gotten a lot better. I like it. Okay, let's keep it. Let's keep it. No, 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 no. That's the wrong one. All right. Good. Let's turn on taxi lights. Laps up. Which runway are we taking off from? 1050 Ti. Yeah, might be a bit difficult for the 1050 Ti. Inertial separator is on. Which airport, which runway are we taking off from? Uh, 271. Is it? How are the winds like? 
not very good but i mean yeah two seven should be more than enough so we just basically just go on our left here that's runway two seven already so now that i've finished with setting up this everything we can go back to the cam view and we can go taxi taxi lights are on everything looks good all right parking brake is released <laughs> yes the TBM 900 hat starts TBM 900 is so detailed it doesn't even offer its own manual for the manual the pilot operating handbook you basically refer to the real thing the real manual from Dahar and use that because it's that accurate I absolutely love that plane that's the reason why I'm flying the TBM here in flight simulator in Microsoft flight simulator You love the diamond. Actually, that's a plane I haven't flown so much of yet. I'm hoping to explore that eventually. I do want more planes with steam gauges though. Because it feels like we have too much of the G1000 planes on our hands. Runway is clear on the right. There's runway 27. Off we go. Winds are coming from the left a bit. Should be okay. Heading mode. Also with the real TBM, when your torque reaches around 40-50%, RPM should go to 2000. Here in this plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator, that doesn't happen. Guys, I, I want to thank everyone again for all the support. Time, I'm getting a bit emotional here. Just for the simple things. Thank you for all the support in the, the watching, the the Patreon, the subs. They all help me do all these things. And in particular, the small thing that I'm really thankful for right now is air conditioning. <laughs> because I turned on the, air, the AC. And normally I wouldn't even dream of turning on the AC because it's expensive, right? And um, I don't want to spend extra money. But because I'm getting some stuff in, I actually have funds to spare to at least have a comfortable stream. So thank you for the support. It really helps a lot. <laughs> the little things, right? The little things. So thank you. <clears throat> right, your damper can go on hand fly this thing the rest of the way turn off the field director thanks raggy patreon.com slash the clumsy geek supposedly i have not really checked the last time <laughs> and i'm hoping to do a vatsim flight again soon maybe we can actually do that in this flight what time is it anyway? Oh, that's something I realized. I don't have a clock. One second. 9.21, okay. Yeah. We have a couple more flights after this one, but... Let's trim this thing. I probably can turn off my inertial separator. Sixty percent does feel a bit better, I think. It's actually nice, huh? You can see my hands fiddling with the yoke so much. Is that really how it is in real life? Maybe, huh? You have to constantly battle with the the winds. The Mooney. Isn't there an issue right now? Is the Mooney is from Carinado, right? Didn't they get an issue with the recent patch? I think they're waiting for Asobo to fix it. Not sure what the issue is though. 
power is cheap in Nova Scotia. <laughs> well, to be fair, in Singapore, it's quite cheap as well, um, considering. Uh, so it's not that bad. But still, I that's like money down the drain. So I really want to make it worth it. But yeah, right now with the 3080 emitting all that heat, <laughs> it's going to be a sauna in here if I didn't have air conditioning. So apparently, in addition to the addition of the, the beefier PSU that you need, you also need a beefier cooling system in terms of cooling your own self. <laughs> because otherwise the heat would go to you. That's one thing that they don't include in the marketing materials. Yeah, exactly, Jay. Exactly what Jay said. Just one more thing to add to the expenses, which I try to avoid if possible. That don't touch the OBS in the Mooney right now. Ah, I see what happens if you do. Got into flight sim when MSFS came out. Learned so much from watching my vids. Oh, that's great to hear. Ah, thanks, Mark. Means a lot. This is why I enjoy making those videos. Inspiring people, teaching people, making people laugh. <laughs> I had Mrs. Clumsy watch my latest video. She was laughing at one of the things I said. The, the video that will come out today, the part 3 of the road to the Asus RTX 3080 Tough. Can you always strap an air cooler to your head and wire it up? <laughs> oh my goodness, that sounds scary still climbing why so let me push on the throttle here get as much power as we can but i will really have to trim down this plane because it would have the tendency to kick up so let me push on it get back to 2500 and uh, let's try and maintain this using two hands Hey, Deso! Great to hear, man. Glad you're liking it too. Oh, yeah. The thing is, when you forget to look, when you, when I look at chat one moment, and the next time I look back, we have gotten, we have climbed 100 feet already in a matter of seconds. And that's really how it is in real life. I watched a video from um, Aviation 101. has a series on it teaching pilots to be more aware of their situation so not just looking around really concentrating when you need to concentrate and uh, not letting distractions get in the way i am pushing so hard on the yoke right now guys i'm almost at full forward yoke here so really that means i really have to trim this down like so there you go. Now it's starting to settle down. If I let go of the yoke, it still climbs up a bit. So trim it more, trim it more. CTD, oh yikes, that's a deadly bug. Just like the V bug, right? If you want easy re reset the desktop thing, just press V. <laughs> there was a time when we had that patch. You guys remember? Yeah, we've been through a lot in Flight Sim. Been through a lot of bugs, specifically. We we're cracking up. I tried to install 30. <laughs> I didn't know there was a rubber cover. I don't remember that from the last time I installed it. That must be from the premium video cards, huh? Thank you for following, guys. Ooh, thank you for subbing. BDS, thanks for joining us. There we go, there's the notification. Supposedly that appears, there you go. Thanks for subbing, GG, welcome to the channel. Make sure to join Discord to get the full benefits. And if you are an on-air, Feel free to join our virtual airline where you can get some manager perks as well. Is the audio good guys? Uh, something seems to have changed. Not sure if that's my distance to the mic. <clears throat> Great. 
to here, guys. Huh, do I need an additional laptop soon? Right here. I do have a spare laptop sitting there. Well, it's a MacBook. But for Twitch, it should be able to display the windows just fine in preview. So that I can get all my real estate space, really. But we'll see. We'll constantly evolve it. But um, good, great to hear that you guys are okay with this view. Let me know when you want to switch back to the single screen. If you want more details in there. So like when we're planning flights, we're planning or briefing approaches. I guess that would make sense. But I guess in general, this would be the default. I'm just not sure where to put the chat window. Are you guys okay with that chat window there? Or should I maybe make it smaller? Or I, I don't know. I don't really not so sure. Where are we? It feels like it's like forest and swamps everywhere. <laughs> hey, Led. <laughs> I know, right? Bit by bit, bit by bit. Thanks for joining, man. How are you? Have you tried any of the Frankenstein stuff from Blah recently? It's a track IR, right? But I don't have it enabled at the moment. No need for it with this wide triple monitor setup. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Jay. Ah, Bunky! <laughs> Goodness, didn't know that was you. Thanks for joining, man. Glad you made it here. How are you enjoying the VA? Oh, is this a town? Let's do a few loops in here in this town just to enjoy a bit more instead of just going on a straight line. Maybe we can explore a bit the area, a little bit of VFR flying. I cannot wait for proper multiple monitor support here. I'll actually be able to get to see the rest of the right and left sides like how you see it already in ETS2 and ATS. Granted, I'll have to read up a lot of that stuff because I'm very much new to multiple monitor setup. So lots of things to learn. Especially the field of view, how the proper setup should look like. So if you guys have any tips, feel free to share with me as well. Yeah, no track IR. Uh, I do have track IR there, but I don't see a need for it. Uh, we can try to enable it just for testing purposes, but I think it will get too wobbly. Like, I think part of the appeal of this triple monitor setup is having that stability. That, like, you're really in the cockpit. But if you start moving the camera around so much... Oh, the moon is there. You guys see? But if you start moving the camera around so much, then that illusion of having a cockpit, a home cockpit, is broken. So I guess track IR and triple monitors don't mix in terms of FPS and also in terms of immersion. What I need next is a honeycomb yoke and throttle. The space here on the right is waiting for the throttle. <laughs> honeycomb, alpha, and bravo. Maybe I should get in touch with some simulator peripherals here in Singapore. Maybe they'll be happy to share their stuff with me, huh? This is so good. The the widening of the view on the right and left is a bit off-putting at times. Kind of have to get used to it. But other than that, my goodness, definitely appreciate the additional views that this is giving. The GPU is sitting at 62, 63 degrees right now. 97% utilization. Pretty good usage. 
I also am ch checking the power. It's uh, well, at least the GPU itself is reporting a uh, 318.8 watts consumption. Just the GPU. The CPU is at 77. So yeah, really require a beefy. PSU power supply <clears throat> you bought a new shifter ah nice th8a shifter I think I know how that looks like congrats man did you not have a shifter before my goodness that will feel so good you will be staying in manual transmission for a long time learning about shifting trucks and stuff Who was that? We had one person in Discord who had who bought a shifter. I think it was Jack. Was it Jack or Blah? Yeah. I remember the first time I got a shifter. Like, wow. How do you even shift a truck? 18 speed? 18 gears? How the heck does that work? You have the crappy Logitech shifter. Ah. So you, you do know how to shift a truck already. You don't need to learn it from scratch at least. Alright. We can push forward again here. How far to go to the destination? So right now we're doing mostly VFR, but it would be exciting to do some IFR flights as well. Punching through clouds and everything. We'll think about that in a bit if you have time. For now though, let's appreciate the view. So one second, one second. Uh, 20 miles away, okay. But yeah, we're pretty low, so we don't really need any other, like, top of descent and stuff. So let me look at the destination airport here. Winds should be coming from the west, so... Ah, uh, but the... Hmm. Yeah, we'll be flying over the airport first, so we get an idea of how it is. Oh my goodness, that wouldn't want to push down. Really need to trim it down. Yeah, probably runway 35. We'll see. We will see. Let's fly over the airport first though. Have a look. Uh, what I didn't see was the elevation. 941 feet, so we'll have to actually climb to 3000 feet. Probably, so let's do that anyway. Anyway, I'm inadvertently climbing, not by choice, but that's a good, uh, happy accident. Not a fan of shifters. With manual transmission, it's hard to shift every time there is traffic. <laughs> yes, that's the fun in it though, when uh, in simulators, that is pretty fun. But in real life, not so much. Oh, can you guys see the reflection? Over here on the left, let me switch back to the game screen for a bit. I've only started getting this since moving to Ultra. Ultra reflections or wind shield options or effects, one of those. That one. Oh, it's not that visible anymore. Let me move the camera a bit. There you see. It's pretty cool. On the lower left side of the screen. Let's go back here. Man, that's a lot of trim down. You see it? Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, each monitor is 1440. Thank you for following. Welcome to the channel. Hope you are enjoying the chill vibes. Feel free to join chat at any point if you are in the mood. <laughs> Good luck, man. You'll enjoy that for sure. The only problem is when you go back to Microsoft Flight Simulator, you'll be start you'll start to look for all those missing features. For me, I've been flying the TBM in Flight Simulator in Microsoft Flight Simulator for a while, so. 
I have kind of forgotten those additional features, but I'm sure when I go back to the hot start, might make it interesting again. Speaking of X-Plane guys, I am getting tempted to install X-Plane again, mainly because X-Plane has, well, aside from the TBM900 that's beautiful there and the airliners, it has proper multiple monitor setup. So you can actually set the offsets and the angles for each monitor to customize the look. So that has that one has proper multiple monitor implementation in there. But yeah, I'm not sure if I I'll have to find the hard drive space. My main reservation about going back to explain is I would get to see those ugly clouds again. <laughs> After getting familiar with the clouds here in Flight Sim, it's really hard to go back. Hey Gold, thank you for following. Welcome to the channel. How are you? Okay, let's start slowing down here. Speed off the speed. Pushing back on the throttle with my right hand here. Just hand flight. Enjoy the vibes. I do know some of the people have started going back to explain and have been enjoying it until Flight Simulator develops into a more hardcore simulation but I mean in terms of the graphics you can't really complain it's just the actual simulation elements that are quite lacking alright there's the airport blinking you see do you see it yeah it's there right on the edge of this um, windshield from the plane alright so let's start Descending here, maybe 2,500. We do see the airport. That's good for a change. Uh, magnetic heading with 349, if I remember correctly. Let me out tab quickly. 349 indeed, okay. 2,500, there you go. Flaps. Oh yeah, that sudden movement again with the yoke sensitivity. Still haven't quite gotten it. Let's turn on the initial inertial separator. Downwind leg on this one. Oh, beautiful everywhere you look. Stabilize here, slow it down. Start going back to explain, I know, right? Hey, HUD, glad you made it, man. How have you been? Yes, thank you. Quite a few developments since the past couple of weeks. Glad you could join. Hope you are doing fine. By the way, we went to Bruno's the other day. That's the Italian restaurant that uh, I'm very fond of and I think HUD has been there as well at one point. FS economy versus on air. I really like the immersion from on air, especially the virtual airline aspect. Although it's paid, so it is a bit of a barrier. But aside from that though, it would have been very nice. Can descend to 2,000 here. I think the the airport had an elevation of 900 feet, so around 1,000. So for 1,000 above like this, we should be fine, ideally speaking. Let's turn base. School holidays until January. Wow, that's a long holiday. My goodness. Sounds great, man. Descending, descending. Should see the airport to our left over there. Don't see it quite yet. We are on base. Going 
continuing to look come on show yourself there we go I see it I see it there it is can you see the runway all right let's line up on the runway try this landing again for a second time inertial separator is on gears are down inertial separator flaps are going to full soon and your damper is off perfect all right trim up trim up bleed off that airspeed below 122 knots deploying full flaps so it slows down and approach speed will be 85 knots in this case exams all the way no worries hud no worries i can only imagine oh you guys see the there the shadow of the plane is there on the left monitor lower right side you actually see the shadow of the plane that looks so cool my goodness oh that is so nice 500 500 i do want to take a photo of this though one sec one sec for the gram oh it doesn't appear oh there oh never mind okay fine i wanted to take a photo of this one oh yeah okay 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 Did it, did it take did it take the shot I, I hope so <laughs> okay it took a shot I'm not sure if it took a shot in time we do have a bit of tailwind in here not the ideal setup okay here we go all right just let it sit down there we go with the flare again the excessive flare is unbelievable. I don't really get it. I Landing don't get it at locked. all. Landed I hate Kilo it. Juliet, Charlie Alpha, Jackson I, I think that's an indication that I really need to trim the plane a lot more. So reversers in here. We'll get it eventually. Ah, I hate that sensitivity curve. Off here. Flaps up. It's supposed to be like we're standing behind you. <laughs> Peeking over from the passenger seat, more like. I don't get a bit of stuttering. Right, turn off the taxi lights there. Turn off the heaters. I think some things are loading in. Look at how detailed those trees are. My goodness. Wow, that's beautiful. Although, yeah, my FPS is getting hammered right now. I can actually feel it. 25, but stuttery. Interestingly enough. Let's give it a few more seconds. Maybe it's downloading. 56 for two years isn't too shabby that's that's true yeah if you are in flight simulation anyway chances are you've been very uh, acquainted to the <laughs> flight sim elements of payware so the price of on air shouldn't be that impossible to get over Ooh. yeah super immersive i still have not gotten used to the peripheral view but it's amazing did see a lot of clumsy airlines in a few guinea <laughs> sure thing man no worries no worries take your time tyt i know that now <laughs> thanks jay Okay, so let's drop off this i'm not sure if this is a passenger or the 200 pound cargo that we're hauling but after this should be the last leg for this job are we entering a runway again no 
Where's the GA ramp? Should be this one straight ahead and into the left, I guess. Yeah, let's just stop here on the right side. I guess no one would mind. I'll be leaving quickly anyway afterwards. Whee! What the heck does this guy think he's going? <laughs> Are you from ETS2 by any chance? ETS2 AI made it all the way here. <laughs> okay, parking brake is set. Inertial separator is off, bleeds off. Let's go through all these things. One more. And we should be good to stop the engine. What is that truck doing in alright? I have no idea. Engine off time logged. End of flight. Registered in on air company. Looking to buy parts to build a new PC. Oh nice. Congrats. Uh, how do I call you? Korshak. Congrats, man. I know that feeling. Just a couple of years ago, I did the same. And I've been out of touch of the PC industry for the longest time, so I had a lot of catching up to do. But it feels great once you've finally done it. <clears throat> Good. Uh, that's a little nav map. On air would probably help. Let's switch back to this one. So you guys can see. So we are level 5, 43 XP gained there. Nothing fancy. How are the elections going? Do they know when the results will... How is it? Are they just voting today? Wait, there's actually a plane taxiing. That guy. Wow. Where the heck did this guy come from? I thought I had my traffic turned off. And where is he going? No, don't do it. No. Close your eyes. No. Just sneaking off in the corner there, <laughs> tucking himself out. <laughs> the AI in this game, my goodness. Okay, good to know. Let's get back to this one. Takes weeks, wow. Interesting. Yeah, I never got that system. It's too complex complex for my brain. I'll just wait for the results. Is a, what do you call it? The conceding thing, a thing in the US. I know it's very common in other countries. Like if you know that you are beaten already, there's no chance of you winning, you concede. I think some, some countries or some candidates do that. <clears throat> 207 pounds, our last leg should go to... Kilo Papa, Yankee Papa. Oh, something, someone's starting up again. Kilo Papa, Yankee Papa. This one is 102 miles. Let's try to go higher this time. Bit of a different feel to it. Let's see. Just I'm just computing it in little nav map. I can show you actually. So I'm just computing the... So I just put in a straight flight path from airport to airport. And because I have the TBM performance set already, I can get the top of climb and top of descent. So we can actually go climb up to 16,000 feet this way. Should be okay. 
Scud, Kilo Papa Yankee Papa. That's very true, HUD. Yeah, it will affect the global economy for sure. With how big the capitalization of the US is. Hey, Sky. Glad you made it, man. How are you? Have a good night, Raggy. Wow. Yeah, that's very early considering you've stayed up so late. Thanks for hanging out with us and catch you next time, man. Okie dokie. Where are we off to? Uh, on air has started, right? Yes, on air has started. Okay, so let's start up the plane again. Uh huh. You guys know the drill by now. So just skip through them. Stayed up till 3 a.m. <laughs> Have people finished voting? Or is it now in the Your counting will stage? Be until you land and shut down the engines. Strobes were on. Okay, good. Frame rate has gone down again. That's good. Okay, or well, it has gone up rather. Good. I think what I need is like a, a view that focuses on the instruments like this. And then a view that goes like that. I think that would be great. So... I'll share with you. Let's do that together. Optimization so it doesn't zoom in like that so much. Good. So what I can do is I can assign a view here. Maybe put this under something like that maybe. Control Alt six and then the overhead view maybe make this like control out five and then what i can do is i can assign controls here um so this one remove it and let's load in control uh, custom camera 5 and 6 that way. I just can't remember which is which. Okay. One second, guys. Uh, I'll get back to chat in a bit. Just give this... Give me a few seconds. I, I really don't understand why you have to clear, clear twice that way. So here is custom... Camera... So 5 and 6 is what we set. So let me just put this in 5. Let me put this in 6. Just so you won't have to use the mouse. So 5 is that way. Perfect. 6 is this way. Perfect. We need to zoom in that way. That way. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Good. Most places have finished their western states. Okay, I see. So most have finished, unless, uh, except for the isolated areas, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Peaceful outcome is what everyone wants. 4 a.m. Zarf, goodness. <laughs> Thanks for joining, man. Live in the EU. Yeah, that's true. We can't vote, but we will all be affected, so... We'll see how it works. Keeping my fingers crossed. I did want to do something. I forgot though. Um, okay, so we want to climb to 16,000 feet. Just put that up here. Uh, taxi lights are on already. Good. Can get pretty political pretty fast, that's true. Dangerous waters. 
hang tight guys why does it reset like that to the normal view interesting so i think when i press this i have to press that okay i'm just sorry i'm just uh, fiddling with the controls guys trying to understand which one i need to use look at when i when i do an alt tab you can see the full size of this aspect ratio right <laughs> of this monitor that's the triple monitors combined okay so that way little nav map climb to 16,000 feet straight forward or ATC at the moment winds coming from the back so we might need to do a u-turn here let's see where we can do that I am only using um, the default weather yeah it's really grown to like it actually that's a good point um, let's switch guys because the live weather actually isn't very dramatic but I want some drama in the form of weather at least so let's add some oh that's a problem one second I'll have to minimize OBS because the live weather window is over here okay let me move it there one second huh back to you guys okay and now I guess we could move it here go to broken clouds you guys want time in the simulator went backwards crap well we can synchronize it again with on air that should be fine no problem your flight is resumed in on air there you go broken though doesn't seem very I think I like for the the views scattered to time be the in the best. simulator went backwards so let's go with this one just for some more scenic flying. Your flight is resumed in on air there we go it's a bit more friendly weather okay resumed in on air that's good all right how's the frame rate 26 ah we're okay we can manage that reset the barrow all right off we go I haven't I haven't tried that yet the Halloween landing challenge I normally don't like the landing challenges because I can barely do a normal landing on my own as you guys can see and it looks like the wind has changed oh yeah because we changed the weather so it looks like this runway is better now so let's go in taxi here to the start of the runway lucky Halloween preset as an add-on oh nice yeah we're not yet politically we're not yet getting into the politics but we are treading dangerous water so to speak so just be mindful just to be on the safe side i don't really have like a rule that says no politics but it's just safer so we try to steer clear from it if possible <clears throat> good let's use the new buttons yeah fancy landing lights inertial separate on runway is clear on the left clear on the right as well oh you can't see my screen sorry there you go have to remember that oh those are some beautiful clouds aren't there nice thanks for following Korshak appreciate it yeah it is going on YouTube Bruno's yes we had so much <laughs> there were four of us we met our friends for the first time since last year because of all this quarantining let's get the proper view here and yeah we had like two pizzas two pastas and uh, let's get some iller deflection in here center line oh I think I didn't set my trims properly one sec uh, let me just focus on the takeoff first 
So I'm trying to work on my feet to maintain center line here as much as possible. There we go. Airborne time log. Positive rate, tap the brakes, gear up. Pitch for 115 knots. Oh, that's too sensitive. Flaps up. Yo, damper on. Let's keep it going. Alright. So yeah, had lots of pizza, pasta, two bottles of wine, which I think I drank most <laughs> compared to other guys. But yeah, oh you can't see so much, it's too bright. Hmm, wonder if I can change that. Might have to adjust the exposure or something. It's not as beautiful. Well in the in the meantime we can do it like this, I guess. So you can, at least you can see the clouds. Two bottles. Well, there were four of us, so like half a bottle each. If it was an even split, but not really, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's fun going out though. Later uh, tonight, Mrs. Clumsy and I will have a date. We've been so busy recently, we haven't uh, gone on a proper date in a while. So I'm really excited for it. Not coffee in your mug, yeah, it's just water. Coffee I've had er already a while ago in the morning. Because coffee sitting there would have been cold brew by now. Oh, look at those clouds, guys. Beautiful. Yeah, this is one of the things that I really wanted to go into Ultra. Some people are saying they don't notice high and Ultra clouds, but maybe it's just placebo on my end, but I really like the Ultra clouds. They look much more natural. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's see if the that view is any better now. Let me know if you can see it more. Tequila. <laughs> okay. Back to the left. Join that magenta line. One second. Actually, interesting. I think I might have to adjust something, guys. Um, so let me just adjust something. Flight director on. Let's go to flight to heading mode rather. And uh, let me pitch down a bit. Look at those beautiful clouds hardly see it from your screens though I think let me know if you want to switch to the camera um, I think it's better if we switch there because the, the front view is amazing look at this wow and even the side views are amazing but everything is amazing uh, okay let's go flight level change here and uh, let's wait for the flight director to catch up there you go just go close there and turn on autopilot. Oh, I was hoping to avoid that juttery reaction from the autopilot. No worries, Hud. That's great that you're talkative. More talk, more fun in chat. Really happy that you managed to join now again. It's been a while. To mug means to study. Oh, I didn't know that. Of course, I didn't know that, right? <laughs> Knowing me. Okay, one second. Let's get a proper view here. A proper screenshot. How about that? Let's go to the cam view. That work. Beautiful. <laughs> That's great, man. No problem. Thanks for making it today. It is very laggy, though. Hmm, interesting. Oh, no, no. It's not really laggy. I'm in drone mode. So the controls are quite different.
who says ultra clouds aren't good. Bit of a dramatic shot. I am getting a large input lag though, interestingly enough. Get back into the cockpit. Oh, that is beautiful. My goodness. Wow. Yeah, scattered clouds is my absolute favorite every single time. Turn off the inertial separator there. And the 10,000, uh, I have to remember, 10,500 feet or 11,000, I have to turn off the, the uh, landing lights. Actually, you know what? Let me turn on the inertial separator again because uh, looks like we're going through some clouds here. Flight Simon VR. Flight Simon VR. Um, I'm not such a huge fan of VR at the moment. So, but maybe eventually, yeah. Maybe when they release the more, how do you say, more state-of-the-art VRs. Because right now, it's like you have cables, you have like a heavy thing here. It's not very comfortable. But I can imagine once things settle down, then once things progress in terms of technology, then yeah, definitely. Expecting to wake up at like 2 p.m. Stayed up till 3 a.m. <laughs> I have no idea how it works either. I think I am in a similar boat, but on my end, because I'm so excited with everything that's happening recently and I'm excited to show you guys what's been happening. I've been super excited recently and I have been having a hard time sleeping. Well, not really. Uh, I have an easy time falling asleep, but I wake up too early. The past few days I've been waking up at 4 a.m. and I'm too excited to sleep again. So when I wake up, I, I kind of hope, please make it past 4 a.m. And then I look at my phone, it's 4 or 3.47. Okay, I can come up. I can go up now. But yeah, I've just been so excited to share this with you guys. So we're finally here. We're finally here. Yeah, that's true, Zarf. Yeah, that's one of the complaints with VR at the moment. The resolution isn't quite there yet. Yeah, definitely. Eight hours ideally, six hours minimum, but lower than that, uh, not good long term. If you're young, you can kind of get away for, with it, but as you grow older, that will really take a toll on the body. Let's have a look at little nav map here. Where are we going? Uh huh. Might have done a boo boo, guys. <laughs> so I kind of was looking for where we're headed. Um, it seems we're headed east, back to the airport where we came from. When we should be going to the west. <laughs> Enjoying the clouds too much. Uh, I forgot that I did not set up the flight plan. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go heading mode here. <laughs> I don't have an idea where we're... I'm the wrong person to ask where we're going. Kilo, Juliet, Charlie, Alpha. The airport is... Uh, Kilo, Papa, Yankee, Papa. Okay. Kilo, Papa, Yankee, Papa. There we go. Okay. We can sit comfortably at 16,000 feet, that's fine. Turning off inertial separator here. And now we can easily just turn left and uh, just intercept the magenta line. <laughs> Not by intention, Deso, but yes. We do get these every now and then. Every, by every now and then, I mean every stream. 
Alright. That looks good. Let's continue heading mode there. And go to the cam again, I think. Isn't the resolution, but you have lens that zoom in, and maybe that's why you see pixels. Ah, might be it, might be it. That's true. Have to make sure not to hit the camera at the back. So yeah, these clouds are the ones that I really cannot get away from. So as much as I want a proper simulator with all the simulation elements in there, the clouds just keep me hanging on, hoping that Flight Sim gets better. Although to be fair, it is getting a lot better, especially thanks to the mods. The modding community is amazing, and Asobo has not been sitting idly either. Uh, going through some of these clouds here I'm not really that comfortable with that I think let's go around them they, these don't look very friendly <laughs> yes that monitor at the back you see that is that my old one I asked Mrs. Clumsy do you like a new monitor Of course she said yes, so we set it up. Oh, icing conditions. Switch back to that. Icing forming ever or so slowly in the windshield. If you look on the left. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we are clear of the clouds here now though. So it should be good. Maybe turn on the icing for now just to be on the safe side. Inertial separator can go on as well. Awesome. <laughs> yes. I, she she will start going to the office this week, I think. Maybe on Thursday, but yeah, uh, companies are starting to get back bit by bit to the office, which is a good sign. It's sad that we won't uh, be in the same house 24-7 anymore, but uh, it's good because that means the overall situation is getting better. Maybe it's better if we descend to like 14,000 feet. So it's a 14,000 VS down. Contact tracing app or token which is to be made mandatory soon. Wasn't it mandatory before? But for me personally, for me and Mrs. Clumsy, the moment we saw the Trace Together app, we immediately downloaded it. So we just got it immediately, so I guess no real change for us. What I would be quite interested in is the... What do you call it? The, the trace together token not just the app I'm thinking if that will be better just so my my phone wouldn't be busy with the trace together app because I think it kind of impedes the Bluetooth signals a bit I don't know if it's just psychological or uh, just my imagination but it seems like 
the the app when the app is open ever since i downloaded the app i had to restart my phone every day because the bluetooth would get really sucky after a while and that didn't used to happen oh this is beautiful just going right underneath the clouds staying in between cloud layers and then seeing the amazing view from below right there very nice yeah there is an actual token that you can get those who don't have smartphones can still avail of it uh, even I have a phone but I still want it because yeah just so I save up a bit of my phone for actual stuff that I like actively do trace together has always been optional ah I see they get to keep these monitors well I won't be giving them back I don't know. I, I hope so. Uh, I, I guess I will have to pay for them. But I would m more than willingly pay for them. I mean, the transition from the previous triple monitor setup I had to this one, absolutely game changing. Not only because of the immersion in the triple monitor gameplay, but the overall productivity. Like the screen real estate, I can like edit videos and uh, multitask and handle all the stuff I do on my PC at so much more efficient way because I have just space for all the windows that I need it's so good I'm glad I made the space for this and just to peek a bit behind the curtains the main reason why I got the monitor arm was because of these monitors because when we when ASUS came up to me when they pitied me enough that they asked if I wanted to um, feature the their uh, RTX 3080 they also said oh and maybe you'd also be interested in testing them in a triple monitor setup I was like initially I was like eh, triple monitors I don't need that I have triple monitors already and I'm streaming anyway so one monitor is all I need because that's the only one I can share and uh, but eventually they they really wanted to show that so I was like okay I'll try it and then eventually as I was testing out the 3080 I was realizing ah yeah a single monitor wouldn't maximize the 3080 yeah, this one this one definitely maximized it <laughs> my goodness not pity <laughs> <laughs> thanks yeah they did say the same that they did not pity me so <laughs> that's good to hear <laughs> but uh, so yeah thankful for the opportunity so yes yeah, so when I knew that I would be getting the monitors then I knew that it wouldn't fit my table I have a pretty standard IKEA table this white one um, if you see the monitors actually overhang a bit on the sides so if I were using the default the base monitor legs the monitor stands that were included then they wouldn't even fit in this table that's why I got the monitor arm so I can have a single uh, anchor point in the middle and it would carry all three so I bought a monitor arm, I moved the table a bit to the left here because you can see the right one, this right side, is almost to the edge of the window. It's actually getting a bit covered by the curtain, so I have very, very limited space. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's working eventually. What, uh, what happened there? One second. I hope one air is okay. Okay, it's tracking. Good. All right, let me get back to chat, guys. Sorry. might get this using your link oh let me know when you get it because i will be happy to share that with the asus folks they will be happy with that 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Three to four K monitors, I would have no space. <laughs> A lot more cleaner with the arm that definitely agree yes oh my goodness look at the clouds there in the airport that's shining just a bit blinking looks so good and i love this camera view because i can just point to stuff you know oh there there now actually when you say there there you can actually tell it <laughs> it actually works now who knew there there could work ever Powered by ASUS, oh that would be great. But no, we, we haven't really gotten into a deal like that, like what Squirrel has. So it, it's more like a, I guess, one-time thing. So it's more like, oh, we give this to you, and then you do this. We do it. We have a deal, and then that's that. And maybe in the future they can, if they're if they're happy with uh, my previous work, they can reach out to me again. Hopefully, keeping fingers crossed. But they haven't really. We're not at that point yet basically <laughs> hopefully eventually but we'll see man this is beautiful just sightseeing all throughout there there <laughs> exactly just looking at my fans here oh by the way about the gpu fan remember guys i was telling you about the gpu fan um last time last week i was wondering why there were two gpu fans with different rpms when i had three fans in the gpu itself uh, apparently normally um, only one metric will be there only one rpm number will be there but since with this gpu specifically there are three fans right so one two three and then the two ones on the side they rotate one way and then the fan in the middle rotates the opposite way and so the what the i forgot his name sorry but the guy who commented on youtube said that the one gpu fan rpm is for the two outside fans and the other one is for the inside going at, in the opposite direction if that made sense <laughs> did you like that drawing that air drawing i did Powered by is yeah. Technically, we can get into the technical details, but I'd like to keep it simple if possible. I mean, I guess unless they include that in the deal, I wouldn't be inclined to place it. Although I am super happy with their products, <clears throat> but that's a different deal altogether. I don't think I do that for free. If you get what I mean. tequila 420 for the monitor yeah actually this is something that they said is quite cheap comparing with other comparing that it's a gaming monitor but yeah it's it's not a cheap monitor that you find it is a gaming monitor still granted it's not like the high-end uh, strix or whatnot still a gaming monitor though with all the bells and whistles I kind of like it though because I I started with the, the basic 1440 monitor I had before, the one at the back, and it was good. It was working great, but um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, that old monitor I had because it was very bare bones. So like the OSD, the menu in the monitor was very basic and it was so hard to fiddle with the menu here it has it's actually like a like a d-pad like a directional pad in the controller so you could easily navigate the menus and stuff you know simple things like that all add up to a very great experience so even if they ask me to pay for this i will gladly pay <laughs> i mean there is something to be said about value but there is also something to be said about well this is still value there's this there's something to be said about getting the cheapest stuff but there is something to be said as well with getting the value so paying for more but getting more out of it so in the end you get more value from it and I, I definitely think this is one of those now granted some of the features I probably won't ever use 
so that might be not the best fit for me but overall I like it <clears throat> hey Rayburn how are you yes Ace of Singapore reached out to me pity me <laughs> what I'd like to say Thanks, Rayburn. Great to hear, man. SimFest World Flight Stream. Is that the VAT Sim flight? How's it going? Top of descent in 26 nautical miles, although since we are at 14,000, that will change. 36 miles, 30 miles. So, sorry. so at 36 miles away from the airport, we can start descending. In the meantime, though, let's enjoy the view. now <laughs> yeah it's very dangerous when you show Jay something he, he tends to get a lot of thoughts so be, be very careful what you show to Jay 24 hours a day for seven days crazy wow seven four into Tong Konten I don't, I don't even know that place but it sounds quite exciting <laughs> cool man how do they do that? Like shifting? Different streamers, I imagine. Just have a look at the GPU, CPU stats here. Looking good so far. GPU clock is at uh, 1845 to 1920, fluctuating around that point. GPU power is at 96%. Wattage is at 320, 322 watts. GPU memory is 9 gigs, 9.2. Whoa. <laughs> Anyone planning on upgrading to the new AMD cards? Anyone get any news there? Six pilots living together for the week and taking different legs. Wow. Oh, that's dedication right there. All right, I'll take a look later, Jay. They're all raising money for charity. It's a good cause. Are they streaming on Twitch? I am quite liking this setup. I think I'll stick with this. Stream stuff on the left. So you can't see it. So it looks more holistic. Only thing you can see is this monitor arm. <laughs> Maybe I can go closer like this. So you you minimize so like instead of having we make the monitor arm as narrow as possible something like that maybe something like that I, I don't know Ooh, squiggly I did mention that we descend at 31 miles away okay that's good it's far away. Autopilot in the CJ4 mod. Last time I've flown it, it was fine. What problem are you having? A clip on mic, yeah. It would be very handy. Move the mic to the left. Like this one? Yeah. Does that work? Like that? it kind of works 
yeah it's blocking the yoke and it's blocking the light on my face I think I'll stay with this one here for now what can I apply to this monitor arm guys so it doesn't squeak all over would WD-40 work or do I need some I don't know, oil or something Eight miles from top of descent. Sounds good. Oil. <laughs> oh, too lazy for that. Uh, I'll buy some oil next time. Don't think we have it here. so happy yet with the setup that I have here on the left it's not so mm, you can't see it which is nice but it's too cluttered I have to find a different way go outside for a bit oh yeah the lighting in this sim is just I don't have words for it. It's so subtle. But it looks so real. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Just stare, stare at this all day. The monitor above the middle one too <laughs> yeah quadruple monitor i need another monitor arm for that not sure if the table can still handle it that will be tempting that's very true i can get mrs clumsy's monitor again <laughs> she might not be happy with that 36 yeah that's top of descent Actually, not sure where we're descending to though. What altitude? Let's go for 5,000 for now. V is it down? 2,000 feet per minute. Pull back on the throttle here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. AC needs to be on. Maybe I can turn it on and off. Wow, it's so nice though. The feeling is so nice having it on. <laughs> Creature comforts. What am I having for lunch? Ah, good question. We'll probably order somewhere. I've been too lazy to cook the past few days, weeks. And so busy with other stuff no chance to do other stuff anymore that sounds vague but yeah the, the work that this needed to be the work I needed to do for this one it's uh, unprecedented <laughs> it really took a toll so I'd like to take it easy for the next couple of days um, figuratively, I was in full throttle the past few days and weeks. And it is exciting, but it is super exhausting. And you can't go full throttle. Just like a, uh, any aircraft engine, you cannot go full throttle the entire way. You always still have anti-ice, my bad. Wow, it's cold right now. Yeah, it rained a while ago. Ninety-four <laughs> percent. Yeah, sometimes it's ninety-eight. Yeah, I 
exactly we have to pace ourselves properly as cool and as fun this stuff might be still we need to take breaks and pace ourselves the new modern possibly yoke or joystick <laughs> yes you haven't gotten your joystick yet didn't you order a thrust master stick Initial separator is on airport is 589 feet in elevation so let's descend to 2500 cross over it and fly from there I'm not sure if I'll ever get the landings right with this kind of sensitivity might have to wait for the next patch the problem is you try to get used to something and then the moment you get used to it they change the controls they change the settings and your muscle memory has to adjust all over again winds like here there is no weather here in this airport specifically it looks like we should have well I guess I can't really rely on this weather huh? I forgot because I'm using preset weather right now so we're basically just going to fly over the airport and see what I can refer to is mainly the runways 0, 07 and 25 67 and 247 degrees on the heading 67247 67247 67247 okay shouldn't forget be 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 beautiful view here guys oh my goodness should be good DC is still out of stock priced higher than the standard 75 bucks it's just like the video cards huh I guess that's uh, we have flight sim to thank for that where are you going now I have no idea <laughs> somewhere to the west it's the name of the airport Center Piedmont Cherokee County Regional Airport. Where are we now, anyway? From a high level standpoint, Alabama? I think we've crossed over to Alabama. Yeah, sweet home Alabama. How f of often do you go to expensive restaurants? Ideally once a month, but oftentimes more often. <laughs> That's why my food budget is always ugh, down the drain. We always have a saying, we have a budget every month, but we always have this saying, when you reach the limit, there is no limit. <laughs> Once you go negative, you're negative, doesn't matter how much you're negative by. So when you reach that point, we just go all out. <laughs> Not a very good practice, but to compensate for it, what we do is we set a very conservative budget so the we have a lot of allowance in there so even though we overshoot it we're still within the realistic budget we just fool ourselves which is the main point of it anyway fooling yourself is the best way to, get to keep in budget
the weather. Ah, thanks. 8 degrees. Not too far away from the weather that we have set in presets. Cool. Where's the airport? Oh, wow. Sorry, still can't get over it. Even details on the trees there on the left side. They're there. Super crisp. That must be what the terrain level of detail is doing. It's rendering all those trees even from farther distances. That's the airport right up ahead. Slow down here so we can deploy our flaps and uh, extend our landing gear. Go to heading mode. So the winds are 280, so 67247 was it? 67247, okay, 247, alright, alright. So what I can actually do, we can go maybe upwind. Turn off the autopilot here. Put the heading bug at 247. Turn off the flight director. Turn off the yaw damper. Put my feet on the rudder pedals again. And let's fly this. That view though, and alright. Time's almost up, really? What time is it? I, I really need a clock right now. <laughs> I don't have a clock anymore. I do want to see the runway. So we'll extend this a bit, guys. I do want to see the runway for the first time on my left or on my right. So I think what I'll do is I will go away from the airport for a bit and then I'll loop around stick at 2,500 feet a phone nearby why check my phone and you guys can tell me now my other phone is used as a touch portal uh, control panel. Good, good. That should be good enough space. Alright, let's loop around here and join the left downwind for runway 24? 25. Maybe it's 24. Oh, that's windy. Jollibee! Do you have Jollibee nearby? Do they deliver to you? That's something that we don't have here. There is a kind of nearby Jollibee in our place, but they never deliver to this area. I guess it's a bit too far. A bit outside the coverage. So let's see if I can see the airport from here. It should be on my right. There it is, I think. Is that the one? There, there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's the one. I'm climbing like crazy in here though, sorry about that guys. Got too uh, enamored by the visuals. Alright, let's turn into this point, join the left downwind. Crazy. Pitch down. Actually, that's the airport right in front of us. Can I see it? I'm getting a few stutters here and there again. Things probably loading in now.
Okay. So that's the airport on the left side. Is it? Yeah, that's the runway for sure. Cool. Now we can utilize the extra field of view on our sides. It does seem like I'm too close though. Let me give it a bit more distance from that point. Okay, now we're on downwind. Proper downwind lick. What's the elevation again for this one? 589, so 16, okay. Let's descend to 1600. Flaps down. Push on the yoke. Counteract that tendency. Landing gear down. there? Ooh. It'd be good to check it out. Yeah, that's a good watch out, Jay. We have enough here? I think so. You have to really step on... That one though. Looking for the runway on my left side. Still not in view. I think there it is. Yes. Man, that's helpful. <laughs> okay. Gear is down. Inertial separator, flaps not yet full. Let's go make that full now. Yo damper is off. Good. Landing lights have been on since a while ago. Good. Alright. There's the runway. Winds are properly coming from runway heading. So that's good. There isn't. Ah, okay. Oh, too bad. There we go. Final. Now, let me try. I think for a proper landing, you have to properly trim so that at the end of the day, you don't apply so much uh, controls on your yoke. And if we manage to do that, then that will mean we don't have to pull so hard on the yoke during the flare. And that will mean we don't we won't reach that cliff in the sensitivity. Airspeed falling here. So the plane shouldn't shoot up. Ideally speaking, but we'll see. A bit high here. Let's catch up a bit to the slope. Trim it, trim it, trim it. Looking good so far. Keep it there. Oh, that's too sharp. My goodness. Come on. It. Oh, there Taiwan. we go. Landed at Kilo Papa, Yankee Papa. There Center we go Piedmont for a change. County Regional Airport. We are getting it bit by bit, guys. Bit by bit. It was a bit unstable at the last moment, but we caught up with it. I'm happy. And I guess the weather also helped, having headwind mostly. Cool. 
smooth landing. My goodness, my palms are sweaty. Three screens, yeah, might be hard on that video card. On the 1070, I couldn't, I wouldn't, I didn't even try it. I might have to lower the graphic setting so much. Looks like I passed through a taxi, taxiway. Um, hmm. Okay, let's exit from to the right here. What I'm wondering is how we do videos from here on out because I, I I doubt the, the camera will work that way. I think it works more for a live stream. For a video, I might stick with the current one, the single monitor one. I'm not so sure. We will see how it works. Where the heck? Does it go anywhere? Huh. Six minutes to go. Well, we might be able to back taxi here. Twenty five, twenty seven FPS, yeah. I guess with all the objects getting drawn. Did we start early today? No, I think we started same time, eight AM. Yeah, I agree. Flight sim and truck sim. But would you be um, thinking, can we make videos from it? Like with this angle all throughout? Hmm. Also, my, my phone is only capable of a 1080p resolution at 30 FPS. The 30 FPS is fine because the sim is not going beyond that anyway with this kind of setup well sometimes but uh, the 1080p is the limiting factor I guess that will be okay as well so you don't see the wires that much <laughs> I guess I can switch huh? like how I'm doing now cockpit mode for when fiddling with the uh, instruments and then when we're landing taking off or sightseeing then I can switch to this view would be a lot more work for me but could actually make it work we'll see we'll see i might try going back to the single monitor setup just to see how it feels see if i can still fly with that or i'm stuck with this kind of setup from now on You'd rather watch this setup. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Sounds good. You don't like in can can drinks? Hey Thor. Are you here? I didn't see Oh there you go. Hey Thor. Yes, finally had an upgrade. <laughs> Thanks for joining, man. Oh, did we not turn off the lights? Parking brake. the 3080 with three fourteen forties. yes exactly now we're really getting to maximize it hey mechanical madness engine off Thanks time walk end of flight registered in on-air company and now we can really turn off the plane good 
I didn't expect it, but that was perfect timing. Th those three jobs took us the entire stream. So here we finished that last... Oh, wait a minute. Let me switch to that. So here we finished that last part. Payment for cargo. And... Uh, we got the money there now. It's nothing big, I think. I think only around 9k. Let me double check. So if I look at my own payments here, we got 2,800, 2, which is 30% of the cut, I think. So that's around 9k income for the company, minus 3k. Yeah, not, not a lot, but it's good to fly around. Time's up, look at that. Just perfect timing. Monitor overclocked to 170. It didn't go to 165. Yeah. I haven't tried it myself though because I have not found a need for it yet from my for my personal use. I know, right? I have the same feeling, Mark. Like when I started with a single 1440, I was okay with it, but I just tried this out and my goodness, I didn't know what I was missing. Especially for simulation um, content. My goodness, this is really something else. <laughs> Cable management. <laughs> when you watch the video, you let me know what the answer is. Watch the part one of the road to the ASUS RTX 3080. <laughs> 1819 for Jollibee. Enjoy. Thanks, Thor. Hoping to refine this a bit more as we go thank you for joining everybody on the stream um no it's out already the public one is out uh, the part one is out part just one and two are out part three is the exclusive one but it will be out today as well <laughs> thanks for helping moderate Che. thanks everyone for joining appreciate the company and thanks for enjoying this new setup for me and thank you again for the support so I can turn on air conditioning so I don't have to sweat bullets anymore every time I stream. <laughs> really helps a lot. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Catch you guys on Friday. I am super excited. The plan is to check 139 out. We'll see. But definitely go with the triple monitor setup. I'm excited to look left and right, cross the road, look at the mirrors. It's cool. It's super cool. First time I've seen it when I recorded the video yesterday. And I super excited to share it with you Kali hype <laughs> go for it all right thank you guys for joining have a great day stay safe out there and keep in touch on discord all right i'll catch you in two days clumsy flying and bye-bye